Things nobody told you about owning a Cavoodle. After many trials, tribulations, and generations of breeding, we have stumbled upon this beautiful companion. Cavoodles are real cuties. They have the curls of a poodle and the style of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. All that and put their names together and makes the Cavoodle. Hi, how are you? I'm Dr. Alex, and you know, many people are considering getting a new dog at this time. If you're someone who is on the road to becoming a dog owner, you have lots and lots of diverse and incredible dog breeds to choose from. Each of them offers a different type of doggy charm. But in this session, we are particularly talking about the Cavoodle. In this video, we're gonna talk about their nature, temperament, the best way to train a Cavoodle, while also taking a little peek into why a Cavoodle might be the perfect fit or might not be the perfect fit for some people out there. So keep your eyes on the screen because we're about to begin. Cavoodles are easygoing dogs. They're very gentle and they score high on the adorability chart. On top of that, with a nature and demeanor as sweet and docile as these dogs are, you can almost mistake a Cavoodle sitting quietly in the corner for a cute little teddy bear. This makes them one of the reasons why children love them so much. But always supervise young children, even around a small dog like a Cavoodle, to ensure there's mutual respect and gentle handling at all times. Now, don't go by looks here alone. This breed of dog is actually very intelligent. While they can be laid back in nature, they tend to have high levels of curiosity. Thanks to this curiosity, Cavoodles are naturals when it comes to recognizing patterns and learning new things. The Cavoodle may be a smaller size breed, but they love to be social and they want to be involved in all family activities. And they can develop separation anxiety if left home alone. Their ability to learn new things quickly is facilitated by a higher than average intelligence and some great agility. They are always wanting to please their owner and you'll see Cavoodles doing all sorts of stunts on Australia's Got Talent. Which brings us to how does a Cavoodle, also known as a Cavapoo, even live up to all this activity? A puppy Cavoodle gets enough nutrition out of three quarters to one cup of dry food per day, which can be divided over several meals. But for adults, you can increase this to two cups of dry food a day. Having said that, dog food can vary significantly in its nutritional content, so always check for guidelines on the packet. And if in doubt, have a chat with your local veterinarian who can advise you on the best food for your dog and how much to feed. The Cavoodle is still a relatively young breed. It hasn't been recognised by international kennel clubs, and even though the first Cavoodles are thought to have been bred in the United States in 1950, their breed status continues to be challenged 70 years on. The reason for contention has some merit. Cavoodles simply do not have uniformity in terms of features to be classified under one breed. Some of them have a greater resemblance to poodles, while others match the Cavaliers. What is true for all Cavoodles is they have high energy requirements, so a daily walk is essential. Cavoodles were not designed to be athletic dogs like Border Collies or Kelpies, but nevertheless, they need regular exercise and they love to burn off energy with playtime with their two-legged family. Aim for 30 minutes of walking each day with your Cavoodle to keep him happy and relaxed. When it comes to grooming, there's no denying Cavoodles require maintenance. Their coat needs regular grooming with weekly brushing sessions and a regular trip to the groomer for a haircut to keep it out of their eyes. Make sure it looks neat and prevent matting of the coat. While it might appear tangle-free on the top, Cavoodles can still have matted fur close to the skin. So regular brushing is really important to keep them in top condition. Those cute floppy ears can be prone to ear infections. So have a chat with your vet about the best product to clean your dog's ears to prevent those nasty infections from occurring. Cleaning and brushing their teeth is also recommended because Cavoodles, like many small dogs, are prone to dental problems. An early intervention can prevent health issues down the track. Make sure your vet checks their teeth during their yearly checkup to ensure they're not causing a problem and your dog is kept in top health. Another reason why the Cavoodle's journey to documented recognition has been somewhat long is there's been a few incidences of transferred hereditary conditions from the two parent breeds. An example of this is mitral valve disease, which is a heart disease that is common in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, and it can cause congestive heart failure. 
particularly in older dogs. Syringomyelia is a condition that's also seen in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, where a dog's skull is too small for the brain, leading to fluid buildup and eventually seizures. Cavoodles are also more prone to cataracts, where the lens of the eye becomes cloudy as they age and their vision becomes limited. Now this may sound a bit scary, but it's a good reason to ask questions of the breeder to ensure there's no genetic history of these conditions. A good breeder can literally make all the difference for you in choosing your new dog. It's such an important decision. You should not leave it to chance. That's why it's our job to educate people on what they need to be aware of when choosing a dog. Like Responsible Pet Breeders Australia, all breeders that you're looking to get your dog from should be able to tell you about the history of the dogs they have and answer all of your questions. The breeder must be certified and their facility should be up to scratch. They should tell you all the things to consider with the dog of your choice and advise you on whether or not you two are the right fit. Cavoodles can live up to 14 years of age and beyond. They're very light and sport a height of just 35 centimetres and can weigh between six and 12 kilos at the most. However, this does vary depending on the parents and grandparents. And remember, the breed is not standardised. So be prepared for this when choosing your dog. Now, don't worry, if you wanted to explore more options before you choose the breed that's right for you, that's why we've made many more videos. Feel free to check around and let us know which dog you finally go for. Until then, be safe and along with your new dog, have the time of your life. If you're still deciding whether a dog is right for you, remember that responsible pet ownership means committing to providing a lifetime of love and care for your pet.